All right, listen, I know you've been watching a bunch of videos of cats and pimple popping, but it's time to get serious and get caught up on your tech news. Although this show could use more cats. Can we get a cat? No. Please. We're getting a cat. AMD was the first to get 3D stacked high bandwidth memory, or HBM, onto their PG GPU, but it looks like Nvidia will be seriously upping the ante soon. According to an industry report, TSMC has won the bid to produce Nvidia's upcoming Pascal chip on their 16 nanometer process. The flagship chip will reportedly feature 16 gigabytes of second gen HBM VRAM with up to one terabyte per second bandwidth, which seems kind of crazy. Maybe the flagship will be a dual GPU card and actually has 8 gigs of RAM per GPU, or maybe Nvidia is just really salty because AMD delivered HBM first, so they're like, Fire everything! In other NVIDIA news, the new share features for GeForce Experience have launched in beta, including Game Stream Co-op. If you don't remember, Game Stream Co-op allows users to stream their games to a friend who can either simply watch, they could take over to help a friend with a difficult part of the game or section, or play cooperatively if the game supports it. The feature only supports 720p at 30fps and has a one hour time limit, but perhaps those will be changed since it's an early access beta, which in layman's terms means please don't complain about bugs. Windows 7 and 8.1 both got optional upgrades to Windows 10, but Windows RT, the forgotten little brother of those operating systems, wasn't so lucky. But here's some good news for people with RT devices. Microsoft has quietly updated the OS with the same start menu found in Windows 10. Well, sort of. It it adds updates of Metro apps and customizable grid, but it's missing the settings button, the power icon, and, and all that is in a different place. But hey, it's nice to see an update to the OS that everyone forgot about and probably shouldn't have existed in the first place. Snip those snippets. Uh -huh. Sharp intends to introduce its first 85 inch 8K TVs in October. That's 7680 by 4320 pixels, priced around $130,000. Intel has released details on 14 new Skylake Xeon chips intended for servers and workstations, so check it out if you're interested. A security flaw has been discovered in Android Lollipop that causes the lock screen to crash if an abnormally long password is entered, allowing would be trespassers access to the phone. Phone. Nexus devices have apparently gotten a patch, but for everyone else, don't try to impress everyone with your ability to remember really long, super long, super long passwords. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Nexi, the latest bit of leaks surrounding the upcoming Huawei Nexus 6 reveal that the device may sport a Snapdragon 810 and 3 gigs of RAM. So yeah. And Apple has officially launched iOS 9 for iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches. So please follow standard smart tech person procedure and wait to see how much it screws up other people's devices before you download it. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Jack! You, you need to take your medicine! <coughs> no, I don't! <coughs> Jack! Get back here! Speaking of medicine, NCIX is sponsoring the Richmond Hospital Foundation's 8th Annual Community Cares Month. From now until September 26th, when you buy an eligible product from NCIX, 100% of the proceeds will go to the Richmond Hospital Foundation to help replace aging medical equipment and hospital infrastructure. But if you don't want to buy anything because you hate technology and are scared it will take over your brain, you can also donate directly to the foundation and help raise awareness by participating in various events happening this month. So click here or in the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Nightlink Daily, guys. Click here to watch more videos and follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find more cats for this show because seriously, the cats to no cats ratio here is seriously lackluster. <coughs> Brittany? <coughs> Brittany, for the last time, I told you, you're not a cat, you're a horse. <coughs> Brittany, don't, don't be like that, Brittany. Brittany! <coughs> Hi! Hey!